Today we'll be writing a test in Foundry for the gasless token transfer contract. So I've imported a ERC20 token that has a function called permit. And I've also imported the gasless token contract. Inside the setup, we'll deploy these. So I'll say token is equal to new ERC20 permit. The parameters are name, symbol, and decimal. So I'll say test, test, and decimal 18. Next, I'll deploy the gasless token transfer contract. Say gasless equals new gasless token transfer parentheses. Okay, the contracts are deployed. Next, let's think through what parameters we'll be testing. We'll need the sender and a receiver. So I'll say address sender and address receiver. We also set the amount and the fee to send. Uint constant amount equals, let's say 1000. And for the fee, we'll set it to 10. Uint constant fee is equal to 10. And inside the setup, we'll send amount plus fee over to the sender. So here, I'll say token dot mint to sender amount to mint will be amount plus fee. Okay, but we have not set the address for the sender and the receiver. So let's do that now. So we'll say sender is equal to something and receiver is equal to some address as well. The sender will be signing a message which will be passed to the ERC20 permit contract. And back in a previous video, I showed you how to sign and verify messages using Foundry. So I have that test file over here and we'll reference this code to sign the permit message. So I'll split this over to the right and then go back to the test. The sender is going to be signing the permit message. And how do we set up a sender so that they can sign a message? Going back to our simple example, first we need to come up with a private key and then call BM ADDR to get the address for the sender. So I'll copy this and then over to my test, paste it here. We'll make the private key for the sender a constant, UN constant. And then I'll name this sender private key. And to get the sender, so I'll set this to sender is equal to bm.addr and pass in the sender private key. And for the receiver, this receiver won't have to sign anything. So I'll just set it to address two. Okay, now we've completed the setup. So let's now write the test. What we're going to be testing here is the sender is going to sign a permit message. And this contract will call the gases token transfer contract and we expect the token to be transferred from the sender to receiver. And this contract will receive some of the fees. So let me put this down. We'll first prepare permit message. And then we'll execute the send, execute send, and then check token balances. So first, let's prepare the message for permit and then sign it. What is the message that we'll need to sign? So I'm going to open the ERC20 permit contract and to navigate to the file, I'll click on control P and then look for ERC20 permit and looking for the permit function. There it is. And the message that we'll need to sign will be everything inside EC recover. So this will be this over here. Copy this and then go back to my test file and we'll create a private function that will produce the same permit message hash. Say function, I'll name it underscore get permit hash. And it's going to take in some inputs. We'll figure out what the inputs are later. This will be private. View returns bytes 32. And then I'll type return, paste the code that we copied over from ERC20 permit contract. Okay, and then now we'll fix this. So oh, first I see a red error over here. We can get this domain separator by calling token.domain separator. And now we'll need to prepare the parameters. So I'll copy this and then paste it here. The first parameter will be an address of owner. The second will be address spender. The next will be uint value. And the next will be uint nouns. 
and last will be u int deadline. And then finally over here, I'll change this to nouns. Okay, that completes our internal function called get permit hash. We will pass in the parameters and it will return the permit message hash that we need to sign. Going back over here, let's prepare the permit message hash that we'll need to sign. So say bytes 32 permit hash is equal to call this internal function get permit hash underscore get permit hash. What are the parameters that we'll need to send? The owner will be sender. The spender will be the address of the gasless token contract. Address gasless. The next parameter is value. So this will be the amount. This will be amount plus fee. And the next parameter will be announce. And we can get this by calling token.announces of the sender. And then the last parameter will be a deadline. So for the deadline, you'll say uint deadline is equal to the current timestamp block dot timestamp plus 60 seconds. And then we'll put it in here, deadline. Okay, so we now have a permit hash that the sender will sign. So how can the sender sign this message using Foundry? What I'm gonna do is go back to our simple example and look for the code where it signs. So I see it over here, copy this. And then back in our test, we'll paste it here. And the parameters that we will need to pass is the private key and the message hash. So this will be sender private key and the message hash is permit hash. So that completes the step of preparing the permit message hash and the signature. So next we'll call the function send on the gas token transfer contract. So say gas this dot send. And what are the inputs that we need to pass to call this function? So I'm gonna open the gas this token transfer contract, copy the inputs, then paste it here. The token must be an address, so I'll cast the token to an address. Sender will be sender, receiver will be receiver, amount will be amount plus fee, actually amount will be amount, and then fee will be fee, deadline will be the deadline from the input, and the signature parameters b, r, and s. Okay, after we execute send, let's check the token balances. So, we will check that the token balance of the sender is now equal to zero. This is because in the setup, we've minted amount plus fee, the amount will go to the receiver, and the fee will go to this contract. So at the end of this execution, the balance of the sender must be equal to zero. Assert equal token dot balance of sender should be zero. And for the error message, we'll say sender balance. And then next, we'll check the balance of the receiver. The receiver should now be equal to amount with the error message receiver balance. And lastly, let's check the balance of this contract. Token balance of address this should now be equal to fee. And then here say fee. Okay, and that completes our test, which would sign a permit message hash and then transfer the tokens. And afterwards, we check the token balances. So in my terminal, and then we'll try building it by typing forge build contract compiles. So let's now try testing it. Forge test dash dash match path test gas this token transfer dot t dot so and then execute the test. And our test passes. So in this video, we tested the gas this token transfer contract and I showed you how to sign the permit message for the ERC20 contract, and then we execute it inside the gas this token transfer contract.